When we think of countries where women play a dominant role, our minds often drift to distant, exotic corners of the world. However, as we explore our research, it becomes clear that this phenomenon is not limited to a few isolated regions. Rather, it is characteristic of many countries, encompassing both developed and developing nations. In this analysis, we will delve into 10 countries where women occupy significant positions in society, examining the factors that contribute to their prominence and the challenges they face. Aruba is not only a paradise island for tourists, known for its stunning beaches and vibrant culture, but it also serves as an intriguing example of gender disparity in the workforce. The high level of female employment in the service sector can be attributed to the island's thriving tourism industry. Women frequently find jobs in hotels, restaurants, and retail, which are pivotal to Aruba's economy. This active participation in the workforce provides women with financial independence and opportunities for personal growth. However, despite their significant contributions to the economy, Aruban women encounter various barriers to career advancement. These obstacles stem from historical factors, such as colonial legacies and traditional gender roles, as well as contemporary stereotypes that persist in the workplace. For instance, women may be overlooked for leadership positions or face challenges in balancing work and family responsibilities. Addressing these issues requires a multifaceted approach, including policies that promote gender equality and support for women's professional development. Portugal, a nation steeped in rich history and cultural heritage, has witnessed a remarkable transformation in the role of women within society over recent decades. This shift can be attributed to several factors, including advancements in education, changing traditional family roles, and the implementation of proactive government policies aimed at promoting gender equality. The Portuguese government has launched various initiatives to empower women, such as programs that encourage female entrepreneurship and support women in politics. As a result, women are increasingly represented in leadership positions across various sectors, including business, academia, and government. For example, women have held the office of prime minister and other high-ranking governmental roles, showcasing their influence in shaping national policies. Despite these advancements, Portuguese women still grapple with the issue of gender pay inequality, which remains a significant challenge. Studies indicate that women earn approximately 14% less than their male counterparts for similar work, highlighting the need for continued advocacy and reform. Addressing this disparity will require not only legislative changes, but also a cultural shift in how society views women's contributions in the workplace. Hong Kong stands out as a unique example of an Asian metropolis where women have achieved remarkable success in business and finance. The city's rapid urbanization, coupled with its robust economic development and liberal social norms, has created an environment conducive to women's advancement. Women in Hong Kong occupy executive positions in major corporations and actively participate in the financial markets, contributing significantly to the region's economic growth. However, the intense work culture and high demands of modern life present challenges for many women. The pressure to excel professionally often leads to the postponement of family planning, with many women choosing to delay childbirth or forgo motherhood altogether. This trend raises concerns about the long-term demographic implications for Hong Kong as the declining birth rate could impact the region's workforce and social structure in the years to come. Moreover, while women in Hong Kong enjoy many opportunities, they still face challenges related to work-life balance and societal expectations. The traditional view of women as primary caregivers often conflicts with their professional aspirations, creating a complex dynamic that requires careful navigation. Armenia, a country with a rich cultural heritage and a long history, has made significant strides in promoting gender equality, particularly in the realm of education. The Armenian government has implemented policies aimed at supporting women's education, which has resulted in high literacy rates among women and increased access to higher education. Culturally, Armenia has a tradition of respecting women, which contributes to their active participation in various fields, including science, art, and politics. Women in Armenia are increasingly recognized for their contributions to society, and many hold prominent positions in government and civil society organizations. For instance, women have been elected to the National Assembly and have taken on leadership roles in non-governmental organizations focused on social issues.
So Crane's journey towards gender equality has been marked by resilience and progress, particularly in the wake of its complex historical context. Women in Ukraine actively participate in political life, business, and civil society, often taking on leadership roles in various sectors. For example, women have served as ministers, members of parliament, and heads of local governments, demonstrating their influence in shaping national policies. However, the ongoing conflict in eastern Ukraine has exacerbated gender imbalances, as men are frequently called to military service, leaving women to assume additional responsibilities at home and in the workforce. This situation has led to an increased burden on women, who often juggle multiple roles as caregivers, breadwinners, and community leaders. Lithuania and Latvia serve as classic examples of Baltic countries where women play a vital role in society. Both nations have made significant progress in achieving gender equality thanks to high levels of education, the development of social services, and strong state support for women's rights. In Lithuania, women are well represented in higher education, with a majority of university students being female. This educational attainment translates into increased participation in the labor market, where women hold positions in various fields including technology, healthcare, and politics. Similarly, in Latvia, women occupy leadership roles in both the public and private sectors, contributing to the country's economic growth and development. Despite these advancements, women in Lithuania and Latvia still encounter challenges related to gender stereotypes and discrimination. Traditional views about women's roles in society can hinder their career advancement and limit their opportunities for professional growth. Addressing these issues requires ongoing efforts to promote gender equality and challenge societal norms that perpetuate discrimination. Why are there more women than men in these countries? Several factors contribute to the phenomenon of having more women than men in certain countries. One, demographic changes. Wars, migration, and epidemics can lead to an imbalance between the sexes. For instance, military conflicts often result in the loss of male lives, while emigration can disproportionately affect men, leaving women behind. 2. Social factors. The standard of living, access to education, health care, and social services significantly impact life expectancy and fertility rates. Women generally live longer than men, which can lead to a higher female population in older age groups. 3. Cultural features. Traditional beliefs about women's roles in society, as well as attitudes towards family and marriage, can influence demographic processes. In some cultures, women are encouraged to pursue education and careers, leading to greater representation in the workforce and society. Conclusion the situation regarding gender equality varies greatly across different countries and is influenced by a multitude of factors. Studying countries where women outnumber men provides valuable insights into global trends in social development and highlights new opportunities for achieving gender equality. Supporting women in all areas of life, from education to politics, is a crucial step towards creating a more just and equitable society.